Like Decca rejecting the Beatles. Like Zurich Polytechnic rejecting Einstein. Several years ago, Channel 4 made a terrible mistake. We rejected the best show on telly. Whoops. Thanks, BAFTA. We appreciate it. This year, we swallowed our pride and acquired Taskmaster. Yes, we've gone big time. But some people hold grudges. Several years ago, I received a letter. Dear sirs, we at Channel 4 regret to inform you that your show Taskmaster is not fit for TV. I see. So no one wants to watch the most elite comedic minds doing battle in a series of incredibly important tasks. Such as... <gasps> Wrong room. Such as painting the best picture of a horse whilst riding a horse, collecting the most tears in an egg cup, or beautifully destroying your cake. Exactly. So those cowards at Channel 4 have come crawling back. We're very excited. Brand new Taskmaster, now on Channel 4. Finally. Having come clean to old fans, our task to get new ones was simple. Explain this incomprehensible show. With help from Alex and Greg, we designed a series of bespoke cross-platform tasks and unleashed them on the internet, so everyone could get a taste of Taskmaster. Count the peas? What's Greg's beard made of? We gamified our ads, made giffy stickers and turned people's noses into pencils. TikTok, it was Taskmaster O'Clock. And if anyone still had any doubts as to what life was like in the Taskmaster world, he served them a warning. Sorry, Alex. Greg made us do it. Our whole campaign came right from the weird heart of the show. By making ourselves the butt of the joke, we made sure everyone knew Taskmaster was now on full. We doubled show attribution and doubled the show's audience, which marketing say is excellent. We explained the incomprehensible show. And all this whilst the world went to shit. Nice. Task complete.